Hello there. People often ask me how to optimize my website for conversions. That's a very good question. I'm happy you're asking it. Uh, let's get to business. Uh, there are several general tips on, um, on the conversion optimization. Something that you should consider before you even start planning your page or designing it. Uh, the first thing is to have your title and meta description optimized. That means that the message that you convey, that you communicate over the page, um, has to be clear and uh, it has to be present in your uh, title tag. Uh, because a lot of people will visit your page from the search engines and uh, you really want to make sure that what they see before they click your link in the search results is relevant to what they will see when they actually get to your page. You don't want to disappoint them because uh, the consistent uh, page interaction experience is, is very critical for the page success. Um, the second general tip uh, that people often forget about actually is making sure that your message, that the page message is clear and concise. Whatever it is that you uh, that you want people to do on your page, whether it's uh, a sign up or a, or a purchase, please make sure that it's clear right from the start. Uh, or even before the start, you may, you may want to, um, uh, to have uh, something you know, uh, actionable in your title tag as well. And uh, please remember about the uh, one page equals one message rule. You don't want to have a page that's about everything. Uh, just make sure that uh, whatever it is that you want people to do is, uh, is the only one that's, uh, that's on that page. Now, uh, we'll get a bit more specific based on the type of the conversion that, uh, that you're after. Uh, well, basically, Websites uh, or businesses may have two types of conversions in mind. That's uh, lead generation and a sale generation. Um, if you're after leads, which means uh, like a sign up or get a free quote or uh, you know a free trial uh, form, etc., um, this is a, a you know a, a better option, an easier option for visitors first of all, and. Uh, if your uh, website, website pages are about generating leads, then please make sure that you have a sign-up form uh, on every page that has value for you uh, and that this uh, sign-up form is above the fold. This is, uh, uh, it means locating the, the form uh, on top of the page so that people would see it right when they get to that page. Uh, and they will not have to scroll down to get to it because not all people actually scroll on your pages. So uh, whenever you have, uh, when you have the, the, the form above the fold, I guarantee this will have a great impact on your conversion rate. Uh, also for the lead generation pages, um, and speaking of forms actually, uh, you really want to make sure the form is uh, is easy for a person to complete because uh, I've seen in my practice I've seen the uh, the free quote forms that had 15 to 20 fields in them and uh, that's you know that's a real conversion killer uh, no kidding because every additional field takes away a lot of conversions from the page and uh, well some say that uh, every new field in the form uh, takes away 20 to 40 percent of uh, uh, of conversions. So that's a lot. So please consider that. And the uh, the ideal case scenario would be to only leave uh, the uh, the email field in your form, uh, and this way people will have a minimum of barriers on their way, and they will easily opt in for. Uh, whatever it is that, that, that you offer. Uh, and um, another important thing about lead generation pages uh, is emphasizing the value. Uh, people actually uh, need something valuable to be able to interact with your website. Um, if it's a free trial, please let them know what exactly they will get in that free trial. Uh, if it's a uh, 
free quote, for example, be sure to let them know that uh, you will contact them uh, like within 10 minutes after you receive their quote request. Something that, you know, that, um, that's valuable for them, something that they want uh, to, to get based on uh, the, the page message. Uh, with the sale generation page, it's pretty similar, somewhat similar at least. Uh, you want to have your product picture above the fold uh, because, you know, internet these days is very visual. Uh, people do not read much on the pages and uh, they just identify uh, the product uh, using the, the visual images. So we really want to have a visual image of your product above the fold. Uh, and uh, you also want to have a uh, buy button uh, above the fold as well uh, because again people don't want to scroll uh, and people do, do not want to search for the buy button uh, throughout the page uh, they want everything uh, you know they want everything and they want it now um, and uh, the other complicated thing about the sales pages is that uh, they are a lot more tricky uh, than uh, than the lead generation pages because uh, people are different, products are different, and there are various things that uh, you know that work well on this or that page. With the lead generation pages, things are a bit more obvious and you know and simple. And uh, uh, with the uh, the sales generation pages, you really want to be prepared for doing a lot of testing, uh, the A/B testing, whatever type of testing it is. Uh, but uh, it will require that, so please be prepared for that. Uh, also, you may want to experiment with buttons. In some cases, uh, you may see that green buttons work better than, uh, than the red buttons or the blue ones, uh, and in some cases, the text uh, is, uh, you know, works better uh, when you have it somewhere up top. Some, and sometimes it works better when you have it at the bottom of the page. So, so that's a part of the experimenting uh, suggestion. Um, that's pretty much it for now. I hope this helps. Uh, please don't forget to follow the two basic uh, suggestions uh, from this video. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. I'll be happy to answer. Bye-bye. Uh,